All right, guys, GoBoy32 here checking out. So the video you're getting ready to watch, I want to do a prequel, kind of an explanation of what was going on here. So uh, as you know, or if you're following the channel, I've got a bunch of cameras that I started putting out onto the targets, and I thought it would be interesting. So especially when you're using uh, an optic with a BDC, you can show the speed of that reticle and the ease of the reticle and engaging targets out the distance. So I thought it would be kind of cool to take the uh, competition rifle that I'm using in uh, the upcoming competition, which is donned out with a primary arms platinum one to eight i uh, actually had to reset this scope pulled it off after i zeroed it and the initial set of rounds that you'll see with the primary arms was about a half mil low subsequently we took it off we put the hall sun 503g on there shoot it out the distance and when i put the platinum back on it was about almost a mil and a half two mils low so we'll have to re-zero that thing, but I wanted to do just a quick brief explanation of what was going on in this thing. We got cameras on every target out to 700 yards. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy this. The rain is annoying, and I am sorry that the, uh, the rain is well, it's loud. So if you can bear with me, uh, put some music on, enjoy it, and have fun. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it, man. You guys be awesome. And uh, thanks out to uh, Primary Arms for providing the optics for this uh, video, as well as uh, Ethan Manning up here, Manning and Sons. You guys, please take a look at his, uh, well, he's got a YouTube channel, Manning and Sons, uh, and he provides a lot of the firearms for this channel. But I appreciate it, and you guys enjoy. Take care. All right, guys, go boy 32 here checking out. So, yeah, we're out at my favorite range, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, skirt around with some couple things. So what we're going to do, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I've got uh, 50 rounds, 49 to be exact, of the uh, Magtech uh, open tip um, Sierra Match Kings. And this is what I'm using in competition, along with, of course, you know it, the primary arms is a Platinum 1 to 8. Now, the cool thing is, is I do have targets set up all the way to... 700 yards out there. I even have two of them, I think, on the 500 because I just kind of lost track. We're still learning how to set all this stuff up, but I'm really excited about showing you guys all this stuff. Now, I've already zeroed in my uh, 45 degree offset sights and uh, they're ready to hit anything that's sitting out 50 yards and then closer. Uh, and that's horrible. Uh, so, what I'm planning on doing, this is going to be fun. All right, so I have right here, this is the Holosun 503G, and this has the, um, the ACSS Microdot reticle in it. And we're going to throw this guy right here on it. This is the three times magnifier, along with the, a badass, uh, well, hell, it's sitting right here, um, American Defense. And this is one of those ones that flips the side. Now, we kind of did a couple little play around videos with this. I'm glad it stopped raining because the cameras are out there. And uh, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along. This is the kind of stuff that uh, I do and I think at the end of the day it makes a person a better shooter because you're playing around. You're at ease. You're having fun. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Rick. Is your six covered? Huge influence on me. Um, but anyway, We've got a, uh, a camera at the 200. We've got a target at 300. I've got targets at 400. I have two cameras left and right on the 500, 600, the big 24-inch plate. And then uh, we've got a uh, target set up there at the 700. Now, the reticle on this guy right here only goes out to 600. And I, I think that's a pretty cool uh, engagement length. Probably don't want to go out any further than that with a 5.56 if you're actually, if you know what I'm talking about. But this guy right here is set up for the 308, 7.62, 5.45, 300 blackout, 7.62 by 39, 12 gauge, 9 millimeter carbon, 22 long rifle. Depends on where your zero distances are. Uh, really cool. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and run some bullets up the gamut here. Uh, this is the competition setup. And uh, let's see if I can even hit the targets. Because uh, I did. I took this scope off and remounted it. Now this has the Kinetics Development Group uh, scope mount. A lot of people have had good luck with it. Some people haven't had such good luck with it. Well, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so we've got a minimal amount of wind. I mean, it's just, it's not doing anything. Uh, at least that's what it looks like from here. Now, in most cases, if I'm gonna be shooting behind a scope, I probably wouldn't wear my safety glasses, but I am training for competition. Come on, rain, quick, please. Uh, so I want to go ahead and wear this. Now, 
The advantage of the ACS theoretical is that I'm going to be able to go out to eight power on this thing. Okay, so it sounds a lot louder through here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pop that first target at 200, and let's see if we can knock that two more down. We're going to 300. Alright, let's go up to the 400. Two targets. Take the left side target. Alright, now, now we're on. I think. Let's go 500. Uh, I have a falling pin rem remnant up there on the 500 on the left side. But let's go ahead and steal target. Then nut. Let's go to the 700 and see if I can get that guy. Oh no, we got the 600. Got that guy. 700. ears on it just sounds like on this pin roof it's going crazy so I'm going to go ahead and take this scope off then what I'm going to do is we're going to take this guy out right here um, I've actually shot with this once before it was a lot of fun uh, but I took it off so to pull it out the cool thing is that you do have a riser on here so that you can go ahead and put it um, on an AK or something else like that uh, but we are going to go ahead and put it on in conjunction with this bad boy right here. Now, one of the things is this is an American defense mount. It is not a flip side. It is a roll to the front side. So we'll go ahead and put this thing on. And I want to position this guy. Now, it does come with a torque wrench. Well, I had it. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. We'll go ahead. I'm going to put it as close. I'm going to push it forward all the way. The cool thing about this this particular optic is it, it is a company with the 50,000 life hours uh, on one battery. It's a CR2320. Uh, um, they are half inch MOA adjustments in the reticle. It should be shake awake, and it is. And I'll tell you what, man, this thing is just as nice as it could be. Pretty well centered up. So what I'm planning on doing is there is a target down there. I'm going to try to zero it in basically the same as this guy right here, 50 yards. Let's go ahead and do that real quick and see where it's hitting. Man, wouldn't that be great if it was right on the money? Get out of here. Now, I'm using the MagTech 77 green. All right, here we go. 
200 yard target. Should be right on the mine. Okay, so 300. This is the kind of part that's kind of a little difficult because you've got this whole thing about the reticle and the chevron. I'm going to put it right where I need to think it needs to hit. Okay, let's go uh, 400. I want to do 500. Let's do right side target 500. Uh, go back to the other side. Can't tell where I'm hitting. I want to do 400 again because <laughs> that's fun. Let's do uh, 600, which is the furthest of the elevation of this thing. Back to 500, small target, right side camera. There it is. Back to 400. 300. 200. Okay, one of the cool things that I want to do, we'll take this off. That's the three times magnifier from primary arm. This thing's badass. Uh, let's go ahead and take off this guy right here. Put this back on. Let's see. Our Let's, get, let's go ahead and pull these out of here because what I want to see is, uh, is how close are we back to zero out the distance. Should be very, very interesting. I'm really looking forward to this. This has been a great test, all in all. 200. Three hundred. Four hundred. Go to the uh, right side, 500 target. Uh, left side, right, 500 target. Let's go high. Ah, uh, oh, shoot. I want some more ammo. We got four rounds left. Now, 600 yard. Seven hundred yard. A little left. Eight hundred. Oh, that's it. We're out of ammo. All right, guys. That is a fun, fun test. I got to get up there and get these cameras out of the, the rain. But we will do a, uh, a little bit more of a detailed uh, review on the Hollis Sun. This is the HS503G with the ACSS microdot reticle in there. But guys, I couldn't be more happier. Uh, the I know that with the 20... The, uh, these guys right here, the MagTech, I'm getting 2705 feet per second. And uh, what's happening is, is it, it is matched perfectly to that reticle. Uh, you know, you're not out here doing any kind of precision shooting. That's not what this is designed to do. But this is for competition shooting. This is for CQB shooting. This is for DMR stuff and Marine Corps. If you knew what was good for you, you would have chosen this reticle over that hunk of junk from SIG. But anyway, um, that's my two cents. Uh, and I'm not, if I didn't believe in the product, I wouldn't be pushing it as hard as I am. Uh, I'm not a shield. I'm not trying to sell you on something that is not a product that 
I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. This thing is a bad mamma jamma. So from the box to the rifle, this thing's awesome. It's Coda Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. And if you haven't tried this uh, three times magnifier uh, for $99, you're not going to get any better. And I'll put the link down below to where you guys can go ahead and go to my website. If you want to support my channel and you're interested in buying something like this, then you've seen what it can do. Coda Boy 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Wow, that was awesome.